In this video, we will cover the else if, random, and finally statements. Open up idle, create a new script and save it as basics 5. The random module allows us to create a random number between any given set of numbers, we need to import a library in order to use it. So at the very top of the script type, import, random. Then enter down a new line and type, rand equals random dot rand int open bracket 1 comma 10 close bracket this creates a variable called rand then tells python to pick a number between 1 and 10 at random the value is then stored in the rand variable on the line underneath type print open bracket rand close bracket then run the code we can see here that a random number is outputted in the shell window now let's create a guessing game where we are prompted to guess the random number that is produced in the rand variable. Above the rand statement, enter a new line and type, print, open bracket, apostrophe, guess a number between 1 and 10, apostrophe, close bracket. Underneath the rand variable on a new line, type, input, 1, equals, input, open bracket, close bracket. This is the statement that lets us type a value in the shell window. Everything we type in the shell window is automatically assigned to a value of string. We however need to compare what we type to the value of an integer. So we will need to convert our input into an integer before comparing it. To do this, on a new line, type input1 equals int open bracket input1 close bracket. If the user types something that isn't a number however, then the code will break. In order to handle this exception, we need to use a try statement. Above the conversion to integer line, enter a new line and type try colon. Then indent the input one conversion statement so that it is contained within the try method. This gets Python to try to convert the entry to an integer. Now we need to handle what happens if the conversion fails. Enter down a new line, backspace to remove the indent and type except colon. Then press enter and type, print, open bracket, apostrophe, this is not a number, apostrophe, close bracket. This will handle the error in case the user types something that is not a number. We still want to use the value from input 1 later on in the code, so we need to set the value of it to a number, even if the user types a word, so, enter a line down and type, input 1, equals 100. Now we can do the comparison between what the user enters and what the random number is. Enter a new line down and backspace to remove the indent. Here we can use the finally statement. What finally does is it tells Python that no matter what happens, whether the try statement is true or the exception occurs, do this section of code. So it will run whether there is an error or not. We can use this to set up how we want to handle the input number guesses. Type, finally, colon. Then press enter. First let's tell the script what to do if the value of our input is 100, which is equal to it being an error. Type, if input, 1, double equals, 100, colon. Then press enter. Then type, pass. This means that whenever the user enters something that isn't a number, it gets converted to the value 100, which displays the message, this is not a number. It then gets ignored in the comparison statement. Then enter a line down and backspace so that there is only one indent. Type L if input 1, greater than symbol, rand, colon, and enter down a line. This is an else if statement and can be used to compare and set conditions based on multiple values, we can stack else if statements to check a number of different conditions. Here we are checking if our input is greater than the random number produced by Python. Type, print, open bracket, apostrophe, your guess is too high, apostrophe, close bracket. Enter a line down and type, print, open bracket, apostrophe, the answer was, space, apostrophe, plus symbol, str, open bracket, rand, close bracket, close bracket. This handles the statement if our guess is too high. Now copy and paste the L if statement, as well as the print statements, and paste it under your current text. 
then change the greater than symbol to less than. Then update the is too high text to say is too low. Then enter down a new line and backspace and type else colon. Then type print open bracket apostrophe correct comma you guessed space apostrophe plus symbol str open bracket rand close bracket close bracket. We want the entire code to keep looping until the user has guessed the correct number. Just after the import random statement, on the second line down, type while true colon. Then highlight all the code underneath it and press tab to indent it. As we want the loop to break whenever we answer the correct answer, under the else statement add a new line and type break. Now run the code. The code will keep asking us to guess the correct number until we do, and then the loop will break and the script will end. Here you can see how the else if statement is used to compare a number of different conditions.